feel good about the uh, performance you put down in Georgia? I feel really good about it. It was really good. It was a great performance. What, what did you like? What were you most happy with? What did you do best at? Everything. I feel like the position too is really helpful. Do you have expectations, maybe a number around, or do you just go into draft day just waiting to hear when, what your number's going to be? I think that's what everybody does. <laughs> you just wait and you see who comes at you, and if you're not pulling on, I'm going to go there and be the best player I could be. Uh, what's draft day going to be like for you? Uh, you going to be with friends, yet. family? I don't know yet. I think I want to spend a lot of time with my family. I think that's a big time thing for me. I'm a family man. Okay. Stefan, besides the 40 at Lubbock High School, what other drills did you do? The same thing they did here, okay. kind of. And, uh, did you do vertical leap, broad no. jump, any of that stuff? Did the cones. stuff that with defensive linemen we do in the NFL. Okay. <laughs> okay. We did that, and I did really well with that. And then when did they tell you that you should be 100% after having your surgery? About three more weeks, uh -huh. and then probably wow. two more weeks after that. So not that far. By the time training camp started, I would be 100% and then I saw Brenza tweeted that you're under 300. Is that right? That was 299 the other day. <laughs> but I'm keeping my weight between that range, to 300 and 305. And how are you able to do that with not being able to, you know, do much on that foot? Well, just working out, uh -huh. knowing how to eat. <laughs> I'm not to do that now, so that's easy to me. <laughs> so no more do it to it specials? Oh, uh, not for a while. <laughs> <laughs> not for a while. How surprised were you to find out you had to break in the foot? Well, I was surprised. I was very surprised. No, no, no idea. The, no no idea. Pain? I was. I had trained for six weeks before that, not knowing I did anything. I felt as healthy as I could be, and uh, to get some news like that kind of like put me down. But you know, through everything, it's another turnaround. So I had a pro day and ended up doing good one on one with everybody. Will you be able to do any more workouts before the draft? When the, when I don't know. It depends on how my foot is, but as of right now, no. Did the doctor say when the break might have happened? Yeah. No. no. You were so successful at being able to drop the weight. I think people would kind of wonder, why couldn't you do that during the season? Is it just too much going on? Yeah, it's just, you know, you have a chance to... I was able to focus on my body. I didn't have to worry about school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and he, yeah, I just had to worry about too much thing, make sure everything is good, make sure I'm eligible, make sure stuff like that. So that's the only reason why. And that's the only reason why it was just a little bit more difficult to do it here. Mm -hmm. But when I was able to uh, transform my body and I had one-on-one -on -one time with professionals, I was able to carry on. I know that there was a point where your mom was really adamant about you get your degree. Is she still adamant about it? Do you yes. have a okay? Do you have a plan for that eventually? Um, off season. Off season. Off season. And um, I'm just going to use these off seasons to try to finish up my degree. I have a year left, and uh, just get my degree in my hand. It'll probably take it won't take a year, but you know, probably two off seasons, three off seasons. I should have my degree in my hand. And would you try to do that here, or would you try to do it elsewhere? Here. We would do it. Just check. I would like to do it here.